So it's another day. As uh, that's usually how shit works. You know, a day goes by and then another one comes after it. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Because um, I don't know. I I'm I mean I think I've spent what the past week and a half maybe maybe two weeks um just angrily screaming at you guys on this podcast <clears throat> and I keep promising that oh you know it's gonna you know the next one is it's gonna be uh, you know it, it's gonna be lighthearted it's it's not gonna be this heavy shit where you know I basically spend uh, half an hour uh, talking about how you guys fucked everything up um I don't know. I mean, have you ever just, have you ever been so like pissed off at something that, that it transforms like, you know, it goes from this reasonable, logical thing to be mad at to it just, it seems so absurd that, uh, you know, and you just, you, you start to fucking laugh about it. Cause I think, I mean, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. Because, uh, you know, watching people uh, online just dumbstruck by what's going on in this country. And and the answers are so fucking simple, but it's, I don't know, it, it's, it's irritating, but it's also fascinating to watch people... Um, pretend like all they have to do is, uh, I don't know, click their heels together and, uh, you know, it'll all be okay. It's just, uh, I don't know if I started with the doom and gloom already, I don't know. I, I apologize. I just, I don't know. It, it seems like, uh, I don't know. It, it kind of feels like we're sort of, uh, circling the fucking, uh, the, the toilet here and, uh, you know, everybody has basically decided to put their hands up and, uh, you know, yell we. Um, I was watching fucking Blue Bloods. Has anybody seen that show? Isn't that, isn't it basically just a big fucking circle jerk for, uh, police officers? I was watching this, uh, this one episode where, um, uh, what the fuck was it? It was like, this cop had like choked the shit out of some dude um unnecessarily uh ended up killing him and uh the entire fucking episode it was like oh you know we have we have to make these fucking split decision uh you know uh not split decision split second decisions and uh you know and and you have of you know the uh, the cops that are all like, you know, obviously he fucking was fearful for his life. Hold on a second. So he's knocking on my goddamn door. Hold on. All right, I'm back. It was the uh, post woman, post lady. My mailman's a, a woman, so I don't know what the correct fucking uh, pronoun or whatever the fuck it is um, to call her. Um, she's kind of a twat though. I mean, she's a nice lady, but, uh, you know, she's afraid of my dog, which I don't blame her for that. But I've told her, I was like, you know, like he's, you know, he barks because he's protecting me. But as long as you're not fucking, uh, you know, here to fucking cut my head off, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be okay. And she's just like, Oh, you know, like she keeps like, can you, can you make sure he stays back? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. And it's just like, all right, fine. I don't know. Does that make her a twat because she's afraid of my dog? Not really. It just, it makes me kind of a cunt for being angry at her for being fearful of my dog. All right. All right. Um, but anyway, I was fucking watching, uh, blue bloods there with fucking Tom Selleck and, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's, it's one of those shows where like, I don't know. I, like I, I kind of get the feeling that the reason people are so fucking nutty now is because they've watched these shows like 
fucking Blue Bloods and uh, uh, the House of Cards and shit. And uh, what was that other fucking one with, uh, what is her name, Claire Danes or whatever, where she's fucking, like, she works for, like, the CIA or some shit, but she's got, like, uh, some sort of mental issue. What the fuck is that called? Homeland? You know, like, I have a feeling, like, people watch these shows... And and that's where they sort of get their perspective from, right? Because all of these shows, I mean, I don't know about Blue Bloods. I don't know how popular that is. but um, And I actually thought Blue Bloods wasn't about police. I thought it was probably, I thought it was about like rich fucking wealthy cunts with uh, yachts and shit that, you know, fucking sit around in smoking jackets and, you know, divide up the fucking country amongst themselves. Um... But yeah, I I, kind of get the feeling that people watch these shows and they start, like, that's where a lot of their perspective comes from, right? Where it's just, I mean, and it's it's not like it's it's so far off from the truth that it makes it ridiculous. It's just like, like, if you watch Homeland, right? Like, I really like that fucking show. I didn't, I don't think I finished it. I think the last time I fucking watched an episode... Uh, the, the fucking, the military dude, the, uh, the main guy that they thought was a terrorist or whatever, or maybe he was, I don't fucking remember, but he was in like Mexico or fucking Brazil or some shit. Um, and he was like being held sort of, not really like captive cause you could kind of move freely, I think. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's the last fucking episode that I saw. So I'm not really sure. Like, was that the fucking end, or did it go go beyond that? Um, I don't know. Um, but, you know, with that show, like, this this fucking fear that everybody has of, of the fucking sleeper, you know? The fucking sleeper cell that's plotting shit. Um, you know, and I'm not going to pretend like, okay, that's, that's impossible. I mean, uh, obviously it could be, but it just, I don't know. You know, it's kind of like when Bush was uh, was president, right? Not fucking senior, but junior, right? Like every time his uh, his fucking popularity or whatever would would drop in the polls, suddenly there'd be like you know uh, an orange alert or whatever the fuck it was. You know, the 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 fucking rainbow, um, fucking I don't I don't know what the the the, the rainbow fucking. Um, signal of of whether or not we should be uh afraid or not or whatever like every single time his popularity would drop it would be suddenly they'd be like oh yeah there was this uh this fucking plot to uh blow up the uh i don't know the fucking safeway in uh spokane washington that you know that we managed to thwart you know it just i i don't know i kind of get the feeling like a, a lot of these shows or especially like you know, like movies and shit that come out. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like a, another, like, like military based, you know, um, America is awesome sort of fucking movie that's, that's coming out soon. Or, or if, you know, I'm sure that they're working on one. It just, it seems like every time people start to be like, you know what, what, like what we're doing is kind of fucked up. You know, when people start sort of opening their eyes and they're like, okay, wait a minute. Um, you know, what exactly are we doing in fucking, uh, you know, Iraq or Afghanistan or why the fuck are we aligned with Saudi Arabia, even though they're fucking, um, you know, like some of the biggest human rights, uh, violators on the planet. I mean, they're currently starving the, you know, Yemeni people. I mean, there are people literally dying because of starvation because Saudi Arabia decided to block any sort of fucking uh, um, supplies or whatever for these people. They they are literally being starved to death, and we are, uh, you know, fucking uh, bedfellows with them. So, you know, every time people start to like, ah, what, what, what the fuck, you know, either some sort of uh, weird fucking attack happens... You know, somebody drives a van through a fucking crowd of people or, I don't know, tries to light their fucking, uh, their, their Nike Cortez on fire or some shit on an airplane. You know, that happens or a fucking movie where it's just like, oh, look at the, look at the, the, look at America. Look how fucking awesome we are. And then people go back to sleep, right? They go back to think, ah, you know what? We, we're, we're the fucking good guys, you know? 
I mean, it makes no sense that we're fucking in uh, Niger or uh, or fucking any of the places that we're we're currently uh, stationed. It, it makes no. It, it doesn't make any sense that we have over a thousand known uh, military bases spread across the fucking world. And and uh, when I say known, it is basically uh, th- those are the ones we know about. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter that we're fucking. Uh, you know drone striking the shit out of innocent people like no 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 you know according to fucking uh chris kyle you know we're we're fucking uh we're fucking awesome so you know it's just i don't know how did i end up talking about this i was talking about blue bloods um but yeah i I was watching that show and and it was just like like halfway through it I'm just like, okay, so this is just, this is like cop porn. This is like porn for fucking police officers and their family, right? Where it's just like, well, we must do whatever it takes. And we're, we're, uh, we're out to protect people. And, and what's most important is, is we get home safe to our families. Like that's how fucking twisted being a police officer has become. And I know I've said it on this podcast and I'm trying to not make this podcast so heavy today, but you know, it, it's weird seeing the fucking, uh, the, the mental gymnastics that have taken place and have basically transformed police from being, um, actual heroes to really kind of, it, it kind of seems like they've got a lot of scared little bitches on, on their force. Um, just constantly fucking killing people that they don't have any weapon whatsoever, uh, you know, they beat the shit out of somebody. Like, I was watching some video uh, on Twitter the other day where it's like this lady, apparently she called the police because her boyfriend was trying to kick down the door or some shit. They show up and for some reason they end up beating the shit out of her. So it's just, you know, it, this idea that police are fucking heroic now, it, it just, it doesn't, it just, it doesn't gel anymore. You know, to me, it seems like you've got a lot of people uh, with a badge and a gun that are scared shitless and really shouldn't be out there, uh, you know, checking fucking uh, parking meters, let alone, uh, you know, going on high speed chases with people or or uh, mediating fucking uh, domestic uh, disputes. Um so, you know, so watching Blue Bloods, I was just like, okay, so this this is just so fucking, uh, you know, so police officers can sit around in a big circle jerk and be like, yeah, see, he, they, they know how it is. You know, just, I don't know. I mean, I know that there's probably somebody listening now that either is a police officer or has a family member or whatever, but I'm sorry. The, it, it seems to be, it seems to me now just based off of you know, the consistent, almost every single day depictions of police brutality, it seems to me like the majority of police, at least in this country, obviously I can't speak for the, uh, the police in uh, other countries, but it seems like a majority are scared to death on a constant fucking basis. And, I think the last people that should be uh, should be handed a weapon that can kill people instantly are people that are afraid. You know, they don't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be a fucking police officer if your biggest fucking goal is I need to make it home safe at night, and I'm burning. I'm pretty much just gonna shoot first and ask questions later. You should not be a police officer. If you're fucking fearful, if you're out there, you know, it's like, like, here's the thing, right? And it, it, people don't seem to ever make the, the connection, right? Like, we have this extreme respect for, um, you know, the military and the troops, as we should. But would you want... The would you want like the military, the Marines, or whatever would or you know well I know they're part of the military, but you know like the army, the Marines, the Navy would would you want them out there fighting, um or would you want would you want guys that are scared as fuck to be the defenders of this country? 
People that are just, they're, they're, they're fucking always just worried, worried that it's going to, I mean, I know that there's some degree of fucking fear that, that soldiers have, but you, you know, like you could call a soldier a hero because he decided to go out there and risk his life and, you know, go into fucking war zones where the probability of him either dying or ending up with, uh, you know, missing a fucking leg or some shit is pretty high. To me, that's fucking heroic. What cops are, uh, have turned into, that's not heroic in any fucking way. They are afraid. I mean, they're scared to death out there. Would you want, would, like, if, if, um, I'll give you a, a fucking scenario and then I'll get off this stupid fucking topic. Um, let's say that there's somebody breaking into your house, right? And you have a gun. Well, you know, let's say it's you and your family, right? And you have a gun. And uh, would you hand that gun over to like, like, let's say you had, I don't know a teenager in the house and he's sitting there fucking shaking and he's, you know, he's scared to death. It's like the fucking boogeyman has come to life. He's fucking, you know, he, he can barely control himself. Would you hand him the fucking gun and say, go protect us? Would you, or would you prefer to, to have it or hand it over to somebody that's like, okay, you know what? Let's everybody just fucking calm down. Let's make sure that we are really fucking, you know, like our life is really being threatened here. You know, I'll handle it. Which one do you want fucking, uh, you know, addressing the situation? I'd rather have the fucking calm person that's like, okay, before we go, you know, uh, we start fucking World War III in our fucking uh, living room, let's make sure that it's an actual fucking threat that needs to, you know, that needs this sort of fucking uh, uh, response to. You know, and if it does require that response, you know, I'm confident enough that I can stop that fucking... Uh, that threat. Who do you want in charge of the gun? The fucking shaken, you know, scared to death, damn near pissing himself teenager or the fucking, the, the guy that's confident. And if you, I mean, uh, you know, obviously this is a rhetorical question because we all know who should have that fucking gun and it ain't the fucking shaken skin, you know, scared to death teenager. So if you can sort of apply that to reality, then it sort of makes sense that police are no longer heroic. They're just a bunch of scared little fucking teenagers, uh, you know, metaphorically shaking and shivering and they have guns. Do you really feel safe when the police show up? I mean, do you really feel safe? I mean, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't been in a place uh, in a long time where police have shown up or that police were uh, needed to be called. But I'm, I'm guessing that most people and not just black people or or uh, Latin people or whatever, but just most people are a little more like, OK, is this cop like fucking you know, is he going to be calm? Is he going to be cool? Or is he just going to come in here and fucking shoot somebody? How does that make you feel safe that you have a, that you have people that, that, you know, that have badges and guns and just the littlest fucking thing sets them off and they end up killing somebody. I, we all saw that fucking video of, uh, what was it? Daniel Shavers or whatever. The, 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 the kid that got fucking, uh, shot, uh, you know, by the police officer in the fucking hotel hallway. I mean, I'm not a police officer, never been trained as a police officer, but it would have been pretty fucking simple for, you know, to, to handle that situation a little bit differently. If you're so worried that he might have a gun, why didn't you just tell him to fucking turn around and lay flat on his stomach? Why didn't you do that? 
It seems, I mean, I've seen that shit in, a, in, in fucking movies and TV shows. Are you telling me that, 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 that that never crossed your fucking mind? Or was it that you're just so fucking afraid that you can't even think straight to the point where you can't even give, uh, you know, like logical fucking commands? And the fact that he had your fucked on the side of his, of his rifle, that guy was looking to kill somebody. It might not have been specifically this kid, but he was definitely looking for a reason to fire that weapon and to end somebody's life. These police officers, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off on this deep shit. You know, maybe I shouldn't watch Blue Bloods anymore. But, uh, you know, these police officers, they're not heroic they're a bunch of scared little bitches. And before anybody's like, well, you know, who are you, you know, if somebody's fucking, uh, you know, breaking your house or whatever, you know, who are you going to call? You know, I'm not going to call the police. I'll call them after the fucking situation is over, but I am definitely not fucking calling them, you know, during a fucking emergency because the chances of me or somebody in my family ending up dead because of some fucking jackass that's played Call of Duty too much come into my house all fucking amped up and jacked, ready to, you know, I don't know, fucking act out his, uh, his Bruce Willis fucking fantasies and shit. I don't want that anywhere near my fucking children. I don't want it. I mean, I obviously, I know that you don't fucking, I mean, I know there are some situations where, you know, maybe somebody didn't get, or didn't end up dead, but they ended up being roughed up because, you know, they, they fucking, you know, I don't know. They, they copped a bunch of attitude, even though I don't think that that's a reason to get roughed up, you know, but usually if there's somebody that has the ability to fucking end your life or, uh, send you to a, a place where the probability of getting fucked in the ass is high, it's probably best to just remain fucking calm, you know? That's my fucking way of looking at things. But would I risk fucking having the police come to my house in an in an emergency? Fuck no. And I have a feeling that most people feel the way that I feel. That you know that maybe fucking you know maybe calling the cops is just going to make shit worse. Because there is going to be some fucking, uh, you know, some guy that's all fucking hopped up and, you know, just got an itchy fucking trigger finger or just is just itching to beat the shit out of somebody because, you know, he's had enough or whatever the fuck it is. I would say that a lot of people probably feel the same way as I do. And that isn't because, you know, I don't know, fucking uh, NWA back in the late 80s told us, uh, that, you know, to fuck the police. It's because of the reality now that it's kind of a fucking, uh, you know, it's kind of a roll of the dice. Now, if the cops show up, if somebody's going to, you know, there's a high probability somebody's going to end up dead. So, you know, I mean, I know that there's, a, there's somebody that's either a police officer or, or married to a police officer or has a family member that's a police officer that's, you know, pissed off and calling me a, I don't know, a libtard or whatever the fuck it is through, through the speaker. But the reality is, is that the police don't make anybody feel safe anymore. They don't. And what does this have to do with blue bloods? I don't fucking know. I don't see. I tried. I was, you know, I was going to do just, uh, you know, a fucking simple fucking uh, podcast that, you know, was supposed to be, uh, you know, I don't know about silly or whatever, but I was trying to stay away from this heavy shit. So, you know, my apologies, you know, for fucking, you know, talking for 20 minutes about, you know, the, uh, the, the lack of testicular fortitude of, uh, of the police department. Did you know that, um, I was watching fucking TV. Surprise, surprise. Hey, it's better than being on fucking Twitter and, you know, social media and shit, isn't it? Um, I was watching probably the funniest fucking shit I've seen in a long time. Um, apparently in, uh, in the UK, they have the fucking darts championship. You know, you know, the fucking game that, uh, 
the, 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 I guess some people fucking play in bars where, you, you know, you throw the fucking darts at the dartboard. Well, these guys have turned it into a fucking, into a league, into a fucking championship. They have, they have taken, I mean, they've basically turned overweight, balding, middle-aged fucking men and turned them into fucking, uh, I don't know, fucking Conor McGregor. I mean, you have to watch these, uh, watch this show just, just for a little while. Right. Cause they, you know, they have like, they have somebody, I mean, they have like their version of uh Bruce buffer announcing them. And these guys, they come out from fucking, uh, behind the curtain. And, you know, some of them got like girls dancing with them. I mean, they are acting like they are fucking superstars because they can throw a sharp thing at a fucking round board. And there's this one guy, I guess he's like the fucking, uh, I don't know, he's like the the world tramp. I think they said he he fucking won like 16 or 17 fucking uh, world championships, which means that this isn't like something that started yesterday, that they've been doing this for a long fucking time. Um, He's like the fucking, you know, he's like the Superman of fucking darts, I guess. And he came out and I fucking almost died laughing because he looks like an older version of, um, uh, fucking, um, oh, what the fuck? Jim Norton. He looks like an older, fatter, sadder version of Jim Norton. So, you know, if you want a good laugh, um, just look for, uh, you know, go look for uh, some videos of that shit. Cause it's fucking hilarious. I mean, it's right up there with, uh, I think a long time ago, I saw some some documentary or some shit where, and it's always out in fucking the UK, usually in England, where they have like um, fucking thumb, thumb wrestling fucking championships or some shit. Or no, it's not thumb wrestling. It's fucking uh, rock, paper, scissors, you know. I mean, that's the level. And the, the, the weird thing is, is these cunts have a, a fucking, they have the balls to be like, oh, you know, you're fucking American football. Oh, what a bunch of pussies. They're wearing, wearing fucking, uh, you know, pads and helmets and shit. You know, you guys are having fucking uh, thumb wrestling wars and throwing fucking darts. You're, you, you guys are basically celebrating... Um, you know, fucking, st- I mean, the next thing you know, they're going to be doing like, uh, uh, what's the fucking, pi- what is it? Beer, beer, fucking ping pong or beer bong or whatever the fuck it is where you throw the, uh, the, that's how old I am. Cause I, I know what it is. I just, I don't know what the fucking name of it is, but, uh, you know, you guys are, you guys are basically a bunch of fucking frat, uh, frat boys playing, you know, fucking, uh, fucking drinking games and, and calling yourselves fucking athletes. It, it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, if you want a good laugh, fucking, uh, check that shit out. I don't know. What do you guys want to fucking talk about it? I mean, there's just so much shit going on that, I don't know. Like I was watching, I mean, well, no, you know what? I don't even want to fucking talk about that because it has to do with the, uh, the pro-lifers. Um, you know, there, there's, uh, there's one of these fucking clinics. It's, uh, it's, it's near my school and every, you know, I, I drive past there every now and then. And, you know, they have the people that are out there with their fucking signs with the, uh, with the aborted fetuses and shit, and they're just like, ah, you know, fucking conception begins at whatever, you know, like, I don't know, when you fucking saw them on uh, Snapchat or some shit. And, um, isn't it fucking funny that, um, the, 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 I mean, most pro-lifers, as far as I know, are usually very fucking religious, right? Like, they believe, like, oh, you're killing God's children. Which is weird that you're, you know, like, like so the so the father, he had nothing to fucking do with it, right? It's just, it's God's fucking, uh, you know, sperm. You know, I, I'm just supposed to fucking uh, take care of fucking God's, uh, you know, fucking uh, little squirt 
for the rest of my life. I mean, if it's God's fucking kids, then, you know, what? maybe he should come and, uh, you know, come to their birthday once in a while and, uh, you know, fork over the fucking dough that it that it's going to cost me to send them to college. If it's God's fucking kids, go fuck yourself. Now, why did I get so angry at you guys? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I find it fucking hilarious that uh, that known usually science deniers suddenly become fucking, uh, you know, microbiologists and shit when it comes to uh, when it comes to fucking, um, you know, fetuses and shit. I'm not saying that I am all for fucking abortion, you know. I think, uh, you know, just like anything, it, it's got to be based on circumstance, right? Like, you shouldn't be forced to 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 have a kid that you know you won't be able to take care of. And yes, I know that there's supposedly fucking people out there that can't have kids and would love to adopt. You know, I, I, I understand that, but there are fucking tons, I mean, you know, there's lots of fucking kids. It's not like, you know, the, the, the one night stand that I had that, you know, somehow managed to turn into a, you know, into almost a life fucking sentence. It's not like they're going to miss that, you know, but, um, like, I, I honestly don't feel like you should be using, or you should be having abortions as like your version of fucking childbirth, right? You know, if you're, if you're just out there just willy fucking nilly, uh, letting dudes squirt inside you, um, and how disgusting did that sound? Um, you know, you, you shouldn't be using it as birth control, but obviously sometimes, you know, uh, accidents fucking happen, um, you know, like if it's a fucking teenager, you know, that's still in fucking high school and shit. Like, you know, their life would be fucking ruined. You're telling me that they're supposed to to keep the baby because, you know, apparently the bearded fucking baby uh, in the sky would be upset. You know, I don't know. It just, it's, it's got to be like a case by case fucking situation. It can't be, well, you can either, you know... Uh, abort all fucking kids at what, you know, at, at any time you want, or it can't be, you can never fucking abort and that you're going to force people to, to go through the nine months of fucking pregnancy and, and, and give the kids up for adoption. I, I always love that fucking argument, right? Cause I've, I've, you know, like a fucking cunt, I've gone and talked to these people because, you know, I felt like fucking with them and, and I always loved the, well, you know, they should just put them up for adoption and it's like, okay, so, uh, you know, how have you ever done that? Have you ever gone through nine months of fucking pregnancy, carrying a kid, and and then when it's all over, you know, giving them up? You, you think it's so fucking easy for people to do that shit? Why do I sound like that? Like, uh, like I got that whole fucking upward inflection. You think it's okay if they fucking do that shit? Oh, my God. Um... You know, I love how fucking people just, they, they never, they never look at it from the perspective of anybody else, uh, you know, besides what they would do if, you know, or what they would supposedly do if they were in that situation. And I have to assume, you know, that, that, you know, you know how you always like whenever there's some fucking, uh, I don't know, some old fucking guy that's talking about how, uh, I don't know, fucking, you know, homosexuality is just, you know, is a sin. And they've made it like their life's work to be anti-gay or whatever. And then it turns out that they're, you know, they get caught with, uh, with, you know, fucking some, you know, fucking some kid or not a kid, but, you know, like, uh, they end up being gay themselves, right? I have to assume that the people that are adamant about, uh, you know, abortion should be le or should be illegal and you know and, and these are god's children i have to assume that you you probably have an abortion every uh three or four months you know and because you feel guilty about what you've done you feel like well i now have to fucking shame every everyone else for uh you know for my decision to to end the life of this fucking you know batch of goo that uh really was just gonna make my life hell you know oh god 
even when I try and make the, the the podcast fucking positive, I just I just turn into a fucking grouchy old cunt. Uh, my apologies. Um, you know, it's almost Christmas. Should I be fucking talking about police brutality and uh, aborting babies? I uh, probably shouldn't. Anyway, all right. I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try next week. Um, I know that you still that there's still Friday, and that, you know every now and then I fucking uh, give you guys a podcast on Friday. But you know, um, my kids are gonna be home, so the chances of me having any sort of peace and quiet is uh, is pretty slim. So most likely I won't be. Uh, I won't be able to give you a podcast or at least another podcast uh, until next week sometime. So, um, you know, what Christmas is this Sunday. So I, I, you know, Merry fucking Christmas and happy holidays. And I don't know if Hanukkah is still going on, but if it is happy Hanukkah or, you know, even if it passed or happy Kwanzaa or fucking whatever it is that the Buddhist people fucking celebrate. I don't know. Do you, do you celebrate Christmas? As in in your version, is it like this? Just is fucking Buddha showing up, and he's, you know, instead of coming down the chimney because he can't really fit, he just sort of knocks on the window, and he does that little fucking uh, full lotus pose and shit. Does he bring you uh, cigarettes and fucking um, I don't know, um, breakfast burritos? I don't know. When I when I worked at this. Uh, uh, this mortgage lender company, um, we used to have those, you know, those fucking, uh, what do you call those things? So the roach coach, uh, they would show up and, and the, uh, the, the fucking owner or whatever, you know, he was Buddhist and, um, you know, he'd always have, like, he'd had, he had like a little statue of fucking, uh, you know, a little fat dude. And he's always like, you know, would have like a cigarette and, you know, like, I don't know, a piece of fruit or, or a sandwich next to it. And I'm always like, you know, like, oh, is, uh, is that your lunch? And he's like, no, it's my fucking tribute to, I don't think he called it tribute. I, I don't remember what the fuck he called it. His offering to Buddha. So, you know, I don't know. Does he, does it, is Christmas time for, for Buddhists? Does, you know, do you end up with like, uh, you know, um, a pack of fucking uh, Marlboro Reds and some incense in your uh, in your stocking. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, I hope you guys have a uh, a fucking happy holidays or a merry Christmas. I'm not gonna, you know, if you get upset because I say happy holidays, uh, you're probably a cunt, and uh, this podcast probably isn't for you. Um. But yeah, so fucking yeah, uh, you know, I hope you have a good Christmas or whatever it is, or if you're not celebrating Christmas, then a good fucking weekend, I don't know. Anyway, I will fucking talk to you again sometime next week, alright? Don't take any shit, and like always, go fuck yourself. Peace.